Leather Somewhere Lace es el producto de una investigación bibliográfica y el esfuerzo de dos personas que se dieron el trabajo de reunir imágenes y fotografías que son mudos testigos de una generación sin igual y que hoy por hoy está más viva que nunca. there's a lot of resurgence of 80s goth and post-punk. I think a lot of these bands are coming out of the woodwork and touring and actually then there's revival bands, uh, some of which that um, I really do love that sound like that old solid pure sound that all of us love, you know, and I think that it's it all aligned perfectly. <laughs> I went to grad school in Savannah, Georgia uh, three years ago for jewelry design and when I got there I just kind of, it was very boring so I started just, I've always been interested in goth since I was a teenager but I just immersed myself in like researching goth and I was like wow there's really a missing part in all this research because people research the, the 90s goth and the fashion but nothing really kind of brought together post-punk so I was like If I want to do this, I'm just going to do this. So I did my thesis on 80s goth and just went for it. Well, I say my favorite part of making this book was meeting the people and There are lots of gracious people all around the world, uh, many in Peru. No, okay. uh, thank you to all of, all of them. Actually, Christian is in the book. And I think all around the world, people's response to helping me out and to giving to this project was very rewarding. And not to mention, uh, there were artists like Alien Sex Fiend helped a lot. And Darren from Psyche and the Fair Sex, a lot of people really just were happy to help. Well, in our book, we define post-punk as before goth, about 1978, right as punk was ending. People were looking for something new, besides punk, something uh, a little bit more sad and not as angry, and a little bit more beautiful. And I think post-punk is where synthesizers come in to play, and a sort of more beautiful, more elegant songwriting.